One of the most famous debates between Einstein and Niels Bohr still continues today because Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity and Bohr's quantum mechanics can simply not coexist in harmony. Physicists have long tried to connect these two using their own theories and one of them is loop quantum gravity theory. Now the main concept of this loop quantum gravity theory is that space itself is quantized. Now what does this mean? It refers to the subdivision of something into small but measurable units. Now let's look at an example. Here I have this black cloth. From a far distance it looks like a smooth and seamless black fabric but as you zoom in you can see a series of threads that are interconnected with each other to form this cloth. Essentially we are quantizing this cloth into numerous threads. The same thing happens in actual space. These threads would instead be numerous loops. As you can see these loops are connected to each other at points known as nodes. Multiple connections lead to a network known as the spin network. So in reality space itself is weaved by this quanta of gravity. This suggests that there is in fact a minimum length which is also known as the Planck length, a minimum volume, area as well as time. Now to put how small these quantities really are into perspective, a Planck length is to a hydrogen atom what a cubic millimeter is to the entire Milky Way galaxy. That's small. Basically, space is made up of a large number of quantum loops which are connected to each other. Now imagine drawing a closed surface anywhere in the network. Its volume would be defined by the number of intersections or nodes it encloses and its area by the number of loops that pierce or pass through it. Wait a minute, are we forgetting something? Hmm. Time! Where did time go? Here, time doesn't exist as a separate fourth dimension, but rather time is described by the movement of the spin network that I had earlier mentioned. When there is a particle that distorts it, it creates the illusion of time. Also here, time can be represented as a digital clock, which ticks by 10 to the power of minus 43 seconds every time the spin network moves, maybe due to mass or due to energy. So the combined distortion of space, which are the connections, and time, the movement of these connections, is what causes gravity. Now the main contender of LQG is string theory. The primary difference between them two is that string theory presumes the presence of space, like a black canvas on which these strings vibrate to form the corresponding fundamental particles of the standard model. But in LQG, no previous assumptions are made. In LQG, the finite loops, the connections and spin networks are space itself.